Hiya! Welcome back to my channel for part two of a video that you recently saw. This has been a very hair care themed month. <laughs> this is the third hair care video, only because the last video was full of so much information that I did have to split it into two parts. So today we are going back with Anna, my good friend who is a hairstylist, and one of our best friends, Kaylise, who has naturally kind of straight blonde hair that doesn't hold a curl, and she's going to teach us the best way to style your hair for those natural kind of beachy curls from a hairstylist point of view. So the professional way. I am behind the camera in this video, but I am also asking her questions and I will pop in here with a couple tips along the way that she told me after the fact. Let's jump right into it. The beautiful model. I feel like Kaylise is a great model for this too because oh she has light hair, so like heat is an issue. Yes. And you also have naturally <laughs> straight hair. Do you have trouble holding curls? I, it doesn't hold a curl. Okay. Like I'll literally curl it and then 20 minutes later it's this again. Perfect, so some good <laughs> tips coming from fact. Anna. Okay, so fun fact, and I actually told Kaylee about this a few months ago. <laughs> she has been brushing her hair at roots to ends for like ever. You don't wanna do that, because if you start here, you're ripping through all those tingles, all those knots, and you're basically just ripping your hair out. So whenever you brush through your hair before you start curling it, you want to start at the ends and just work your way up. Today we're just gonna go in and curl Kaylee's hair in like a beachy textured like curl pattern. Perfect. Biggest thing that you want to start with, most important, is a heat protectant of any sort, thermal protectant. Irons are typically heated to about 300 degrees and your hair melts and fries at 400 degrees. <gasps> so you definitely want to protect it. I had no idea. Yeah, me <laughs> so I'm using the dry conditioner that I talked about earlier. So basically, it's just there to create a thermal protectant, a UV protectant, which is really good because the sun does cause damage on your hair and there, your hair can get sunburned the same way that your skin can and dry it out a lot faster. So just spray a thin veil over it. I never knew this. And then lift it up so you get all those hairs on the inside. It smells great. Yes, it does smell really good. And then go back through and comb it just to get it like evenly dispersed. dispersed. Yep. You could do this a few different ways. I prefer sectioning because I get a little bit more control that way. So I just like to take horizontal sections starting at the nape of the hair. I'm taking about, I would say that's like an inch, inch and a half section. The smaller your sections are, the better of a curl you're gonna get. All right, so I'm starting with about an inch to an inch and a half section, and within that section, I'm taking vertical subsections. In this video, Anna is using a curling iron that is an inch and a quarter, but she does say that you can use any tool. You can use a wand, you can use a hair straightener, you can use a bigger or a smaller curling iron. She doesn't necessarily recommend bigger, but you can use it all. The method is still the same. The only difference will be the clamp. Just so you know, all applicable no matter what you use. The best way to do it if you want like a looser beachy wave, take your curling iron, start in the middle of the hair, clamp it down, and then slowly, I'm like the lightest touch, touching that handle just to open up that barrel a little bit. Slowly feed the end of the hair in and just twist up. It's gonna take some practice. practice so you pull it perfect. through, you don't yes. wrap it around. And you can do it to where you start like down here and then like curl up like that mm -hmm. and then feed it in or there's so many different ways you can do it. This is just how I do it. Like if you were using a wand, same same concept, same idea. Still starting like about an inch to two inches away from the root and then holding it on there. But you do see it creates a little bit different of a curl. So it, it just does. depends on the look you're really going for. Another way you could do the heat protectant is like spray each section if you want to. I just like to do it all ahead of time because I'll forget <laughs> to spray each section. Okay, one trick that I like to use is to alternate the direction of my curl. So if I'm doing this one towards the face. I did something right in my video. Yep, I did, did that. Then the next one I will do away from the face. And again, the smaller the section you take, the better the curl is gonna hold. If you have too much hair in there, you're probably not evenly dispersing the heat. It's probably not getting every single hair. Just hold it on there for a few seconds and then just slowly twist out. And right now the curls kind of look really like tight and just not cute. Mm -hmm. But then you're gonna go through and brush it out. Kaylee, so are you curling your hair for your wedding day? Yes, I do want it curled. Yeah, are you doing down? down? Half up, half down? I'm getting extensions. That's so. a good tip for wedding hair. Um, I know a lot of people that follow and watch your videos, Mikkel, are brides or brides-to-be. Yes, like 80%. <laughs> a lot of, it goes back to Pinterest and just the inspiration. A lot of the pictures you're seeing of updos are full, a full head of extensions. Oh. oh. <laughs> so the curls are holding better. The, there's more body to the hair. There's more length to the hair. 
So if you see a look that you know your hair can't achieve, but that's your like, that's the look you want for your wedding, you might have to put it in your budget and invest to add an extension. How and much does a full head of extensions cost, like the range? So that is very dependent on the type of extension you're getting. You can do clip-ins that are just the day of and you'll never wear them again. And those can range to about like 150 to $200, which seems like a lot if you're only wearing them once. Right. But again, it's all about how important your, your hair is to you on your wedding day. If you're doing a more permanent method where you're getting like them taped in or sewn in, those can go up a little bit more just depending on how much hair you're adding, anywhere from $500 to $1,000. But those are lasting you a lot longer. Hey there, it's me again. One tip that Anna told me after we were filming that I have started doing that I think really helps so much, especially with more expensive product, is she told me to wash your hair twice with just the smallest amount of shampoo. A tiny little dime size amount wash your hair first and she said it won't lather it won't make bubbles and it's interesting because the first time it's just getting out all the oil and the dirt and she said then do it again with literally just a dime sized amount of product and that time it will lather a ton and i've been doing that lately i've been using like half the amount of shampoo that i normally use and my hair has felt so much more clean so thank you anna for that tip that is actually saving me money a lot of money okay back to the process if you aren't alternating the direction of the curl it's still gonna be beautiful, but it's gonna be a lot softer of a wave. It's gonna create more of that like S shape, whereas this is gonna create a lot more texture because the curls aren't like morphing into each other. So you alternate curls on every layer? Yes. So okay. every single section that I take, I alternating about an inch to two inches away from the root, getting that hair in there, and then slowly opening up that clamp and bringing the barrel down feeds into that hair. When you bring the barrel down, you're gonna curl it back up same thing, open that clamp, feed the hair in, pull the barrel down, curl the barrel up, and then hold it there for a few seconds. And then I like to twist the hair out and then pull the ends out. It creates more of like a straight look on the ends and creates mm. more of that like undone look. That's one thing I said in my video that I know you haven't seen yet, but it's so funny the cultural differences because I like my ends straight now that I live mm -hmm. in California. Mm -hmm. It's such a Texas thing to keep your hair completely curled all the way to the end. Yeah. So if you didn't want to do that, I can show you that too. And so same concept, curling everything in. This time you're gonna want to include the ends of the hair into the barrel because you want that entire section to be curled. And then in that case, I wouldn't pull down. I would just open the clamp and let the curl fall out. And then the whole thing Oh is yeah, that does look See really different. So that looks a little more like done up where the yes. other one looks a little more like beachy exactly. and relaxed. Another tip, everything that's right next to the face you're mm -hmm. gonna wanna curl away from the face. You don't wanna close yourself off and create this like weird curl that's just like smacking you in the face. Right. <laughs> it's just yeah. not cute. And curling away from the face really opens it up a lot more. I did two things right in my video. <laughs> did you do anything different for this top layer or the same thing? So this top layer is really dependent on you. Me personally, I like to start curling everything away from the face. Um, sometimes I feel like, like on the top layer, if you have one that's like going towards the face, it can just kind of look weird and not as like cute. Gotcha. As, as intentional. You want to create that texture like within the hair, not necessarily like on top. Sometimes by the face, I'll curl the curls a little bit tighter and then everything else is a little bit more loose and peachy. And so if I wanted to, I could take this entire section, which I would say is about like an inch and a half thick mm -hmm. and just curl the whole thing. What that will do is create a lot softer of a curl around her face. But since I kind of want tighter curls, and a little bit more definition, I'm gonna separate it into two right around the face, a couple smaller sections. It's gonna help the curl hold a lot better and it's gonna give it more of like a volumized look. So smaller sections around the face. Yeah, so if you let the curl settle like this, it looks super tight, not really cute, but you're letting that hair cool down. You, as you touch it more, you'll feel that heat kind of just start to dissipate. Mm -hmm. Then you can come through it. It'll create more of that wave, but the curl memory is in that form of when you have just let it out of the curling iron. So I have a question. Yes. In high school, like I was taught to curl, and this you're probably gonna laugh or like cringe, like hairspray beforehand or put hairspray on the curl while it's on the barrel. How bad is that? Um, that's not necessarily bad. Okay. You don't want any like moisture on the hair while like right before you curl. Okay. So, because if there's any sort of moisture, you're gonna create steam and that steam is burning um, your hair. So same mm. thing, you wouldn't wanna curl your hair if it was like wet yeah. from water. You don't wanna okay. curl it if it's wet from product either. That makes sense. So you can hairspray before to give it like some hold, mm -hmm. but you need to make sure that hairspray is dry before you're going in and curling your hair. Okay, so that was the last one. <laughs> wow. Dude, that was wow. fast. 
So I don't wanna comb through it yet, like we talked about. This side and the back are pretty much cooled down, but this front side is not yet. So I'm gonna take my texture spray and spray like a thin veil over it, just to give it a little bit of hold because texture spray does have hold in it, like hairspray does. Like a thin veil, and you, wanna, you don't wanna like hold the nozzle down and like let it come out like that. You wanna do it in pumps. Oh, does that save product? It saves product and it also causes, it's gonna sound weird, but the way it disperses from the nozzle is how it's supposed to be going on your hair. Her hair is cooled down so you can get in there, spray at the root, give it a little bit more texture and volume. What I'm gonna do is you could take a wide tooth comb, you could take a brush if your hair holds curl really well. In Kaylee's instance, I'm going to just shake the curls out a little bit. So I don't wanna like necessarily rake through since her hair has a hold, hard time holding curl. Just wanna separate and create more of that movement. Kinda of let the curls fall on their own. If this were me, I would be raking my hands through my hair and creating that separation. But in Kaylee's instance, I don't want to brush her curls out right away. And then I also like to take, cause texture spray can get a little gritty and it can be drying to your hair. So you don't wanna overload your ends with it. So I like to take some sort of oil or serum. Mm. So a little dot on dry hair goes a long way and then just rake it through on the ends. And it's just this cute, that's loose, beachy. so pretty. And that's the final look. Here we have Kaylee with her Whoa. bombshell hair. Oh, uh, look oh. at me. Wow. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Anna, for being a part of this video and making Kaylee's look. Okay. Look at that beach, babe. I wish Anna could come to my house literally every day. Right. I know. This is amazing. I know. Like I said, if you live in the Southern California area, her salon is out of Temecula. Salon DLN. I'll put all the contact info below because she's so good. Love y'all so much. Love you. Thank you for being on the channel. <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe because Got to 20, now to 50, so I can I quit can. my job. Yeah. <laughs> to that. Before we say our formal goodbyes, I have loved doing this, so let me know what other types of hair care things you want, if you want any. And all of Anna's information will be linked below. She has a regular Instagram, she has a hair care Instagram. And then if you're in the Southern California area, I will also link her salon below. So if you wanna go get your hair cut or colored or styled or whatever from her, she is awesome for that. She cut and colored my hair for my wedding. So I obviously trust her with everything. Okay, okay, we'll all say goodbye together. I love y'all so much, have the best rest of your day.